We're in the city of Ghent, which is not Brussels, but it's an hour drive from Brussels. And this is Ghent. They have a lot of churches and construction similar to Brussels. But there's only 300,000 people who live here. And we're seeing some of the famous landmarks, churches, streets, and uh, still construction as we explore Ghent. Let's go. Here's an interesting clock tower and some massive cathedral, very tall towers. And we have another view of the previous tall tower there as we walk down this street towards those buildings. A tired baby on my shoulder. This is Daenerys. She's not happy. Okay, a few extra challenges on this trip. No problem, we got this, right? This looks like Venice. There's a canal flowing through the city right here between the buildings. And we are on this bridge overlooking the water. Very cool. So looking at the architecture, there's a lot of different colors of the different buildings. Rooms with a view. I can only imagine that's a nice view all along this river. And there's that clock tower. This little old me, I've now released my weight. Daenerys is finally walking by herself, so I can enjoy without the challenges of carrying a 20 kilogram baby around everywhere. All right, let's keep going. Here we are in a church. Grand entrance, massive ceiling, so high, with big pillars everywhere. Stained glass windows. And a little old me in this massive tower. Okay. Very impressive. This is one of those stained glass windows up close. And then here's the next one. Each depicts a different scene. Can you imagine constructing these columns and arches? The engineering needed to make this structure. Ooh, you can't really tell how tall it is from this video, but if you're standing here as I am, you'll feel a sense of awe and wonder at just how high it is. I'm trying to pan slowly so you can get the sense, but it's not quite the same if, uh, if you're not standing here. This is the entrance way, and at the entrance is this massive, tall, welcoming chandelier hanging from the ceiling with these statues. plaques leading you to the entrance all right that's it for this tour of this church Let's continue. This is Bruges. We just stopped at a new city in Belgium. 
And this is the park that we are at with a nice waterway. That we are on a bridge. And we're gonna go see how this park looks. So far so good. Lots of trees, lots of it's a sunny day. Good fresh air. Onwards. This is Lover's Bridge, where you're supposed to kiss your wife, girlfriend, or significant other. And there's nice buildings in the distance. We're gonna go see them. Another waterway, a little bit like Venice. Lots of flowers, as you can see behind me along this bridge. Okay. The tower up ahead, and the little girl next to me who wants to be picked up again, yet again. So we just walked through those trees, and now we're gonna walk for some lunch and to those buildings in the distance. Let's go! Roofs are very steep, I imagine, for the snow or rainfall. And they all look like teepees, tents. So this is where we're gonna eat. They charge one euro for using the toilets. They're public, but they're not free. Well, if you, add, you gotta go, you'll pay. All right, let's keep going. Here's another church. And roof. This is the centerpiece. And then the stained glass windows on the sides. It's not as tall. <laughs> That's my fault. As the other churches we've been. That's still impressive. A little on me. Okay. We have two horses pulling a carriage. It's a pretty big animal, actually. Yeah, I'm just standing here under the shade while we are observing all the people around us. Very popular place for tourists. Bruges in Belgium. We are in Belgium and this is Belgian chocolates. This is a chocolate shop in Bruges, which has a variety of different chocolate, including we are in a Belgian chocolate shop. This is chocolate. These are screws, but they're edible. It's actually chocolate that looks like tools. There's a wrench. There's a lock. It's pretty cool. And we bought one, so we'll tell you how it tastes. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. We're in Bruges. And this is the best Belgian chocolates, apparently, from Bruges. These are like different fruits, dried fruits in the chocolate. Very cool. And yeah, the whole shop is full of different chocolates. Everything looks so good, but so fascinating and unhealthy. More tools. This one really looks like a rusted wrench. Funny how they can make them into edible chocolate. And more. Those are the seashells. We bought those. More tools. And chocolate ch chunks. Brique chocolade. Must be Belgian or French, maybe? Okay. 
or the sweet tooth. <laughs> More of Venice in Bruges in Belgium. This is a street in Bruges with the church in the horizon, on the horizon. And we just walked down this street where we found some Belgian chocolates. Actually, quite a few chocolate shops. It's a popular product for tourists. And we are now going to go back to the tour bus. Here's my family. All with cell phones, except Daenerys, who doesn't have cell phones yet. And me, with my cell phone. Hi guys! Oh, come on. Alright, let's go! More of Venice in Bruges in Belgium. There are boats on the canal. There is the church on the horizon. Tall tower. And many chocolate shops along this street. Where we just came from. And across the street, there's, this is a bridge. Canal continues and the boats continue. Pretty cool. Okay, let's continue the tour of Bruges. With me, your handsome tour guide. <laughs> Here's the entrance to the church, a grand entrance, very high with two pillars on either side, kind of gray stone work compared to the red stone work to the left and to the right. And a horse along the street. Yeah, it's very impressive. And this is me next to the church. Okay, let's continue. We found a big open square in Brugge which has a lot of space, horses going on the streets, cyclists, and just a lot of buildings all around, and a massive church, clock tower, which tells the wrong time. It's 5 p.m., it says it's 3 p.m., so that's probably not working anymore. But yeah, this is Brussels. City of Brugge, B R U G G E. And this is Georgian Brugge in the open square. Beautiful sunny day. Lots of colors and shapes all around me. And my family right there. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Kira. Hi Daenerys! Hi Abibi! And another horse. <laughs> they have the blinders on, you see that? It's so that they don't, they don't get scared or distracted by all the people and the noise around them. It's a necessary thing to keep the horses calm. Okay, let's keep going! Here we have another square with a nice architecture. That's a museum. And all around us are these joined houses with no gap in between them. Some construction going on there. I don't really like that super long townhouse feel that is common here in Brussels. I mean Belgium. We're still in Brugge. But yeah, that's the standard. You just have these long streets of buildings with no gap and doors along the way to each residence or store. And then it's just one big long townhouse along each street. <laughs> 